Hello, so welcome to the next square of a 50 stitches crochet along. And this week we're making the triad stitch. So the triads are made of three loops of yarn all coming together at the top to make this lovely, lovely stitch. It's a double sided stitch and it's just got a lovely look about it. So how do we make it? So for this stitch we're going to use a three and a half millimeter hook and we're going to start by making a foundation chain of 31. Okay so remember your turning chain counts as your first stitch and your next stitch you're going to make in the third chain from your hook and it's going to be a single crochet and you're going to single crochet in every stitch to the end so including that turning chain you've got 30 stitches so at the end of this row I'm going to switch colour and bring in this lovely green Oops. sorry just got caught there there we go and I'm just going to join that in there so each row of triads is separated by a row of single crochet. So you can change colours any way you want in this, it's entirely up to you. Just pull that down. Behave. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And then in that first stitch, I'm going to make the alternate turning chain. One. There we go. Misbehaving yarn today. Okay, and remember this counts as your first stitch. So I'm just going to pop a stitch marker in there. Just move that light a bit. Okay. So. I've had to modify this a little bit, just get our stitch count, but here we go. So I'm going to yarn over into the same stitch as your turning chain, you're going to pull up a loop, then yarn over and in the next stitch pull up a loop, yarn over and in the next stitch pull up a loop. So you should have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to yarn over and pull through six of the loops, leaving two on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through the last two. And there is your first triad stitch. So it's made over three stitches, all just loops pulled up. And we bring them together with those pulling through those last two loops. And you're going to chain one. Now the next triad starts in the stitch that you finished the last one. So the start and finish of your triad will always be in the same stitch as the one before and the one next. Okay, so just yarn over and into the same stitch as you finished the last one. Pull up a loop. Yarn over in the next stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, and the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through six of your loops, which will leave two on your hook, then yarn over, and pull through the last two. And there we go, nice and simple. Then chain one. And this is the pattern we're going to do all the way down. So yarn over into the same stitch as the last one finished. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Pull through six of the seven loops on your hook 
which will leave you with two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. Get some more yarn, and then chain one. And we're going to do this all the way down the row. So although it's made over three stitches, because you're using the first and last stitch twice, the, the uh, dry stitch that comes before and after, it's actually only made over two stitches. So the stitch is made in multiples of two. Two. Oops, no, one loop too many there. Going back here. There we go. But it's a nice, easy rhythm to get into. It's a nice looking stitch for. I think that's so fairly simple. There we go. I think it looks a bit like hula skirts, don't you? Those grass skirts. <laughs> Anyways. One. Two. And three. Yarn over. Pull through six of the seven loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two. Then chain one. Yarn over into the next stitch. Over, pull up a loop. And yarn over, pull up the next loop. Yarn over and pull up another. And chain one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up another one, and number three. So just pull them as high as your starting chain, so they'll be nice and even. We're going across there, and chain one after every loop, every triad. Two, three, yarn over, pull through, okay. so almost at the end of the row, and chain one. So if you wanted to do this stitch for a longer pattern, you would need to do it in multiples of Two plus one, one, two, and three. The uh, modification that I've done that I mentioned at the beginning is actually beginning here. So normally you would do a chain one and start your first triad and the next stitch across, so it wouldn't be in the same as your turning chain. We're actually starting the second stitch with a chain one after your turning chain and then start the next triad. But I've just had to knock that out so we can get our stitch count right. But if you want to do it for another pattern, that's how you would. One, two, and three. So almost at the end of the row. Chain one. Same stitch as the next triad. One, two, and three. Yeah. Okay, chain one. Last triad. One, two, and three. So we've got the one stitch left, which is the top of the turning chain from row one. 
going to chain one and the last stitch we're going to double crochet. A second. The only problem with doing it in the turning chain is it's a bit awkward to get through. There we go. And double crochet. And I'm going to change colour back to our original green. Where did I put my scissors? One second. So I did something that then you always forget. Managed to place out of reach. There we go. Right, so I'm going to cut that first colour off. Oh, I've got a needle with it. And we can rejoin here. There we go. And I'm going to turn. Chain one, and in the first stitch, going to single crochet. So that counts as your first stitch. Pop a stitch marker in there. Just give those a tug tight. Okay, so in the chain ones, we're just going to single crochet around the chain and then just single crochet into the top of every triad. So around the chain into the top of the triad and just single crochet all the way across. There you go. So I just bring the original back in here. So every row of triads is alternated with a row of single crochet. Okay. So where you change colours is entirely up to you. You could do this in a single colour if you wanted. So beginning of every triad row is the alternate turning chain and ends with a double crochet. And then the single crochet rows is just single crochet all the way across. In the chain ones, you just single crochet around the chain and then into the top of every triad. It's a lovely double sided stitch. Right, so finishing it off. There's 15 rows in total. You'll start and end with a row of single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of triads and eight rows of single crochet. For the border, it's one single crochet in each stitch across the top and bottom. For the sides, you're going to do two single crochet in the size of row one. And then in every other single crochet row, it's one single crochet. In the size of each triad row, it's three single crochet. Add an extra stitch in the corners for the turn. And that is your triad square. So I hope you enjoy that. As always, please do come to the Facebook group. Show us your finished squares. If you have any questions, please ask. And you should always get an answer. And I will see you next time for the next square. Bye for now.